I think I've learned a lot about how important it is for leaders to communicate and collaborate with their employees and how much of an impact that can have on their leadership abilities. Uh, I've learned that when, time gets t when times get tough in situations, that's usually the best time for leaders to step in to really help the team and boost their morale. I think from all of that we can gather, it's just like there are many forms of leadership and that uh, it can come in different states, shapes, and sizes. Specifically from Scott Husing, what I really took from what he said, he's, he said that just leadership, his leadership is only like one form of leadership and anyone in the right position and the right mind can go ahead and make a difference. In the world. Scott Using as an author has taught me a lot about leadership and how leadership isn't about individual skills, it's about communicating with others and being able to adapt along the way. So I've, the main thing that I've learned so far is that there's really no one way to get to where you need to be, where you want to be in entrepreneur or your uh, CEO of a nonprofit or anything like that. There's so many, we've learned so many different stories and experiences and we learned that there's no set way to get to where you want to be uh, with involvement in the community. I think the only question, one yeah. of the main things that we've been taught is just how to overcome challenges and how that like shapes you into a leader, like how your life, different life experiences can kind of transform into something else that you take into your life in other ways like being a leader in the workforce or like Scott wrote his book just like different ways to take what you've learned and apply it to yeah. everyone has a different path of leadership so whether you like start in a big corporation or you're small and you build up everyone has a different path and to get to the same place um, I think we've also learned a lot about like how to work with teams and like how different people like work differently and there's uh, many different ways to be a leader like there's not just like one clear way to be a leader. I've learned that um well initially there's a lot more to a nonprofit going on behind the scenes than they thought there was. I just thought like a group of volunteers you know working together I didn't realize that there were so many different things that went on behind the scenes in terms of leadership that you know, we've been focusing on like there being a board and there being like diversity in that board and having there be people of different backgrounds who are participating in running that nonprofit so that even if they have a goal specifically in one field, there's more to how they are achieving that goal than what I thought in the beginning. And the different nonprofits, what I've learned from them is that like it takes a lot of dedication and passion to start one. You have to be fully committed to what you are intending to change and improve in the world. And also like these different types of leaderships that are required. You have to know how to motivate people, especially when starting a nonprofit because you're not making a profit, so you're just doing it out of your passion and your commitment. Um, so basically I've learned that nonprofits are basically organizations that don't work for their own profit. They work because they're just led by people who are very passionate about certain things. And so I really learned that it's not about people just like wanting to make money. It's people being passionate about something and just creating an organization to help out a, a noble cause. So that's the main thing I've learned. Um, so I learned that for nonprofit organizations, it's not just one person working to reach their goal, it's a whole team behind it, and all of the people on the team are kind of like leaders in their own way. Um, they all have something to bring to the team. That's what makes a uh, nonprofit organization be able to work well and also have um, them reach their goals. Yeah, and they're also very passionate about what they do, and I think that really drives their uh, their goals forward. Yeah, as like they both said, definitely passion drives the whole group, and it's also a very like community-like aspect that is very important in order for the nonprofit to be very successful. So. There's also an aspect of team leadership that like, goes with it as well.